Italian cinema has played a key role in the development of global film cultures, many taking inspiration from its realistic and honest portrayal of difficult times through the art of storytelling. Neorealism is an aesthetic style that has proven to stand the test of time and is still seen in films to this day. The movement was argued to have started by critics with the film Ossessione, directed by Lucino Visconti, and it was released in 1943. The Italian neorealist era featured many defining characteristics, which all helped shape the aesthetic of these films. It was often preferred to shoot on pre-existing locations over studio lots. This was first implemented as a way to save money, because there was little budget for film in post-war Italy. Production was often the stage where most Italian neorealist films finalized their aesthetic. As mentioned by Borgen, many neorealist films had a distinctive writing style, utilizing a documentary-like objectivity. Therefore, the audience was expected to have their own opinions and feelings by leaving it up for personal interpretation. By featuring wider and longer shots, the audience has the opportunity to explore the mise-en-scene of the scene, which allows them to understand the setting, along with the possible aspects that help shape the character or story. Italy being in a post-war era, still recovering from fascism, was reflected in the miserable type of story that were being told on screen. As quoted by Bazin, the aesthetic can be described as giving a portrayal of actuality. The Italian neorealist era offered viewers films that showcased working class struggles, which in turn was seen as an honest piece of commentary on the state of the nation. At first, when the film Ossessione was released, it was immediately sequestered by the censors. Although it has not been confirmed why, it can be assumed that its negative but arguably accurate portrayal of the struggles Italians were facing could have been the cause. Due to the stories having a realistic edge, it became easier to see them more as retellings of actual events instead of pieces of fiction. Ultimately, after the fall of fascism, Italian neorealism flourished as a genre and became more popular, even in foreign territories. In conclusion, the Italian neorealist era was of great importance to shaping the post-war film culture in Europe. Nowadays, it even continues to influence many films around the globe. Its simplicity and resourcefulness in times of struggle have been a great inspiration to many. One does not need access to a large budget, big studios, or professional actors to create a story that will bring an audience to tears. Fiorello, <laughs>